Hello everyone, my name is The Catcher, and welcome to another episode of Forgotten Games, the show where I take a look at games that have been forgotten to times past. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Dr. Franken for the Game Boy, so if you guys are excited, make sure to click like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump right in. Um, happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. This is episode number two of my Halloween recording sesh on uh, Halloween. Um, I hope you guys had a good Halloween. Um, let me know. Oh, this is extremely... Okay. It looks like we have a little bit of lightning powers. Now, unlike Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or Goblins and Ghosts, excuse me, this is a little bit more difficult. Oh, gee whiz. Gosh. Well, I hope you guys are doing well on this Friday. I hope you guys are excited because we are inching ever so closer to the end of, uh, we're, I think as of this episode, we're, we're we have officially finished Pikmin. Which is pretty exciting, honestly, in my opinion. No, the only reason I'm doing this episode is because, um... The Commodore also did Ghouls and Goblins. So, or, so I didn't want to just do the same thing. Don't get me wrong, go check out his video, because it's worth it, obviously. But... You know, I wanted to do something different. Radio, radio. Failed to find all of Bitsy's pieces. Okay, fine. Die. Okay, it looks like we need to find a key. Okay, how did that not hit him? Okay, there we go. Oh, that door is also locked. Well, what the hell? Oh. Oh, this is not good.
Yeah, this is not, uh... Okay, that's still locked. What the hell am I missing? Oh, this is not good. <sighs> All right, I'll admit this isn't super good. What am I missing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this has been Dr. Franken. Would I recommend this game? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But we'll try one more Halloween game and see if I see if I think it's good. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Bye!